So the government has shut down, guys. What do you think? What do you think? We're about to get into it. Breaking right now as we come on the air, our government is shutting down just within the last 30 minutes. The short term spending bill aimed at avoiding a midnight shutdown was shot down in the Senate. And we spoke with military members tonight. They told me they were closely watching these budget discussions. If the government shuts down, that means they will have to show up to work here, but not get paid. Get paid. What's going on guys, it's your boy Ricky back with another video. Um, first disclaimer is I want to apologize for the background noise that you may hear. Um, there's things going on in here and I'm not in my normal setup. I'm just in my studio. I got I had it set up for some portraits that I did a while back and I just never took it down. So I just decided to just come on here and talk about um, the issue at hand, which is the government shutdown. So, you know, I've been you know looking at social media and seeing what different soldiers and different people had to say about the government shutdown and then you hear everything from you know i'm not going to formation on monday i'm not doing this and i'm not doing that and you know i'm not working for free and all this kind of stuff but the bottom line is you will be there i mean it's you can say what you want to say you will be there that's a part of what we signed up for as being soldiers is that we have to be there you know i don't like it not one bit but at the end of the day we can talk all the trash we want, but at the end of the day, you're going to be there. So stop all this fronting on Facebook like you ain't going to show up to formation and you ain't going to do this. And you're going to do it. You're, you'll be there. So this is the part of being in the military or being a government worker, period, that I think there's a misconception. Um, a lot of people think mil uh, government jobs are guaranteed. Oh, that's guaranteed money. Oh, that's a they got good benefits and this, that and the third. But this is one of the p parts that people don't tell you about. Just know. And I've been come to the realization of this. If you work for the government in any capacity, you are a pawn, period, point blank. Chessboard, you are those first line of defenses. You are the first guys that they put out there for the slaughter. We are that as government workers. So this is why I have tried to my best ability to make my time in the military, um, number one, make it worthwhile and really leverage every skill that I learned to be able to transition out of the military into my own business because of that same reason because I want to be in control of my 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 destiny my family's destiny I don't want anybody be, to be able to say oh guys you're not you're not getting paid today you know what I mean I want to be the sole person that makes that decision that's in control of that um, and when you work for an entity, entity such as the government you're not in control of that it's just Period, point blank. That is what it is. Um, I know, you know, everybody comes on, they look, they look at the military videos and, you know, to see what it's like in the Army. And, you know, and for the most part, the Army has done, you know, wonders for me. Um, it gave me that um, stepping stone that I needed to transition from where I was to where I'm actually going. But there are some downsides to it, and this is. Um, in 2013, we went through a similar fate. Um, there was a 16-day government shut uh, shutdown, um, so it didn't really affect me much because the shutdown happened like I want to say it happened like right after a pay period, and then by the time the next pay period came, we got paid, which I believe that is probably going to happen this time. But um, is there's a chance that it may not? So, um, but I did go through it in 2013. I was actually uh, training um, at uh, the Defense Information School. I was actually at Denfo's. At a, at a course. Um, I was at the DMC school, it was uh, the digital multimedia course, and there were a lot of civilians in that course as well. And those civilians had to actually leave. I think we were like a couple weeks, not even a couple weeks, we might have been a week and some change away from graduation. And they had to get up and they had to leave the course because of the government shutdown, because everything was just shut down. So they did not get to graduate, even though they went through, I would say 90% of the course, they had to leave. Um, however, they did allow them to come back at a later date and finish that course right where they left off. So I think that was uh, good of them folks to actually do that. But 
it's just one of those things where, you know, when you're in the military, you have to think about a whole bunch of things. Um, you're going to come in, especially if you're younger coming in and you never really had a real job. When you get out of basic training, you're going to come in and you're going to have all this money sitting in your bank and the urge to just go on a splurge is going to be there. But I'm going to say military, having your finances in order is big in the military as well because they expect you to have, they don't want to hear, oh, I don't have any money. I don't want to hear, they, they're, they're going to want to hear um, that you have everything in order when they need you to do something. When something needs to be done, when something needs to be bought or you need some something for your uniform or whatever it is that you may need, they're going to expect you to have everything you need. And then in times like these, really make you look at your finances and say, hey, I need to make sure I have something back for when a situation like this occurs or if it occurs, I'm kind of good to go. Um, I can honestly say that I, you know, I, I don't have what I want to have. Um, if it were to go past the uh, pay date, it would definitely affect me. But again, this just reinforces the fact that I need to tighten down and I'm encouraging you guys out there as well, all my fellow military members to, you know, there's going to be days where you have an excess, you have a surplus of money. Make sure you save that. You know, it's so easy to go out and get the fastest car and, and you know, go out and get the Jordans and all this kind of stuff. But make sure that you you have something saved back for days when they do stuff like this. And I believe this is going to, it's probably going to happen more often than not um, now, with especially with the person who we're dealing with and the way the world is now. I can see this happening again. So I don't know how long it's going to last. Um... But it is what it is right now. As of now, we are military members getting paid for free. We are doing charity right now. So, um, But that's something you sign up for. So I don't think to continue to say you're not going to do this, you're not gonna, you're going to do it. So stop it. You're going to be right there in formation. And you're going to be right there at your job and show up and do the things you need to do. And as you should, because this is what you signed up for. This is a part of the, um, the Army values where they say selfless service. This is definitely... Selfless service is definitely being tested here, guys. It's definitely being tested here. But again, I encourage you to find something that you're passionate about and look to, to grow that when your days in the military are over so you don't have to be dependent upon a system to pay your bills and you can go out and create something on your own. And that's what I'm doing, not talking about this YouTube channel. I'm just saying about my skill set as a photographer and videographer. Um, I have honed that and, and got it to a point to where um, I can be, I've, I've built it into some, some type of a brand to where I can go out and get money if I need to. So that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Whatever your talents may be, whatever it may be, um, I think um, this situation should wake everybody up of um, how financially responsible we need to be as soldiers because we don't make a lot of money. So um, this, this is really going to affect a lot of soldiers across the nation and worldwide, uh, in fact. Um, I just saw something online where today we got the AFC and the NFC championship games going on. We got our brothers in arms over there in Afghanistan, and guess what? They can't watch the game because AFN, because of the government shutdown, AFN is, it went black. So there's no AFN, so they can't watch the games. So they're going to be sitting over there and, they, you know, whatever, on a Sunday, and they can't watch football. A lot of times I think we just need to think, really, really, really think about what we do with our money in the military. And I don't know why these uh, lights keep going out, but I'm going to keep, keep on rolling. But just really pay attention to what it is that we do. Um, that's it, guys. I just want to get on here and talk about it. I, I saw a lot of people online saying what they were going to do, and you know, a lot of different um, perspectives on it. Um, but at the end of the day, as service members, we have an obligation to to f fulfill our duties. It sucks, you know, that you work for free, but it's it's what we're signed up for. So you just gotta gotta do it. I mean, there's nothing else nothing else you can do about it. So. I would say, you know, again, I just encourage everybody, you know, start investing, different things of that nature. Guys, if you want to get started investing, it's too easy. Um, there's two apps that I'm going to put the link down in the description. There's one called Acorns. And what Acorns is, is, is it takes the change um, of what you spend on your debit card or credit card or whatever and it invests it for you. So say you go and buy a bag of chips for $2.75. So it's going to round it up to $3. It's going to take that $0.25 cents that, and invest so it, that's called acorns i'm going to put that down there's another one called robin hood it's similar to acorns um it does the same type thing um to where you can 
uh, invest small and, and invest in companies and get small fractions of shares of big companies. And I think you may look at it now as, ah, you know, that's not nothing, you know. But at the end of the day, I think if you do a 20-year career in the military and you've invested that whole time, just think about what you're going to have on top of your retirement. So investing is definitely something that uh, can help protect you, your future, and against things of this nature in the future. Um, also, um, crypto. Um, I started a Coinbase account. I mean, I only, I only gave them like 30 bucks. You know what I mean? I started a Coinbase account. I owe ten, I own ten dollars of Bitcoin, ten dollars of Litecoin, and ten dollars of whatever that other coin is. You refer, however you say it. I don't even know how to say it. But I owe, I um, I own ten dollars of all of those. I have a two hundred and fifty dollar um portfolio in Acorn. That's not a lot of money, but it's me getting started and trying to do something. So I would, you know, there's a lot of them out there. Acorn, Robin Hood. You got Stash. There's so many of them you can do. Um, and I'm going to put the link to those in the description. Um, but I do encourage you guys to do good things with your money, especially you guys coming out of basic and AIT, uh, mainly basic. When you come out of basic and you got all that money, try to invest some of that money because you're going to have a lot sitting in your account when you get out because you don't need it to spend it while you're in there. And you can anyway. So when you get out, you're going to have a lot of money sitting in your account. And please, please invest some of that money and save some of it for days like this. Um, again, it's your boy Ricky. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like uh, this video. I just want to come over here real quick, informal, not on a set or anything like that. Just want to come in and talk to you guys, and um, and really, really uh, just kind of kind of get everybody's opinion on what they think about this government shutdown as a as a military member. Also, comment down in this. I want some comments down in the comment section so I can see what you guys think about it and um, how it's affecting you. I have a great life. Thank you.